वेलकम गाइज नाउ वी विल लर्न द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ आर होल स्क्वायर नंबर्स एंड ऑल्सो द क्यूब रूट ऑफ आर होल क्यूब नंबर सो प्लीज लिसन केयरफुल वॉट इज द होल स्क्वायर नंबर द होल स्क्वायर नंबर विच इज एक्सैक्टली इन द फॉर्म ऑफ अ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर वट इज द होल क्यूब नंबर विच इज फॉर्म ऑफ परफेक्ट क्यूब सो वी विल डिस्कस इन दिस सेक्शन ओनली दोज नंबर विच इज आई द परफेक्ट स्क्वायर और परफेक्ट क्यूब तो फर्स्ट वी डू द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ परफेक्ट स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट वी डू द क्यूब रूट ऑफ द परफेक्ट क्यूब सो लेट्स बिगिन so first you need to understand about this like one square is one two square is four nine sixteen so think about the unit digit all case so what is eleven square that is one twenty one what is twelve square that is one forty four so this one one repeats this four four repeats what is thirteen square that is one sixty nine so this nine and nine repeats so you need to understand like Uh, the unit digit of a whole square number depends on the unit digit only it doesn't depend on the tenth digit so the unit digit of a whole square number depends on the unit digit right so i can see like this is only the last digit that is possible so 1 4 9 6 5 and 0 are the possible unit digits of a whole square number possible unit digits of a whole square number but what they are not possible the not possible is 2 not possible is 7 not possible is 8 not possible is 3 so these are not possible of as an unit digit of a whole square number so in case of a whole square number the only possibilities we have which is basically 1 4 9 6 5 and 0 so this is the first thing you need to remember now think about doing a, like a square root of a whole square number the first number is let's say root over 17 64 i just need to do the square root of it so the first thing you need to understand remove the last two digits what i'm saying remove understand my comment also very carefully remove the last two digits so i'm removing the last two so in case of 4 so which square ends with 4 2 square ends with 4 also 8 square ends with 4 so you can show 2 square ends with 4 8 square ends with 4 right so we have two possibilities so in case of 4 so the unit digit has two possibilities either it is 2 or it is 4 am i clear so unit digits have two possibilities in case of 17 what is the square number which is less than 17 and close to 17 like the highest square less than equal to 17 so the answer is basically highest square less than equal to 17 is 16 and 16 kiska square hai 4 ka square hai so what is the tenth digit that is 16 ka square root which is 4 So the tenth digit is basically the square root of the nearest whole square number, which is less than seventeen. Nearest whole square number, which is less than seventeen. Square root of the nearest whole square number. So seventeen is the nearest square whole square number is sixteen, and the square root of sixteen is four. So here that is four here. Now you need to find whether seventeen, whether forty-two or forty-four. There we have two things. Either the answer is forty-two, or sorry, it's about eight. I'm so sorry. So now you need to understand whether it is forty-two or it is forty-eight. So for that thing, the first thing we need to learn that is four into five is how much? What is the thing? Four into five, the tenth digit and tenth plus one. Tenth into tenth plus one. So tenth is four. So ten plus ten plus one is twenty. Now think about it. Seventeen is less than twenty. So seventeen, क्या है? इससे छोटा है. So you have to take the smaller one. So the answer is forty-two. If it is If this seventeen is more than this kind of thing, then it has to be take the higher number. Let's uh, take this example as well. Two two zero nine. What is the first thing we have to do? Remove last two. For nine, there are two possibilities. There is three or seven. Three square is also nine. Seven square is also forty nine. So less than twenty two, it has to be four, right? So the next thing is the ten digit is already four. So the next is four into five. What is four into five? That is twenty. Now twenty two is more than twenty, so you take the bigger number. So your answer is forty seven. So root over two two zero nine is forty seven. Next is let's say root over two eight zero nine. So in this case, what I need to do again nine that is three or seven perfect. Now in case of three or seven, to so think about twenty eight. What is the smallest? What is the smaller? What is the closest number to twenty eight and the whole square number, which is twenty five? And what is the square root of twenty five? That is five. So your ten digit is five. That's fine. Now next is five into six. It is how much? Thirty. Now twenty eight is less than thirty, so take the smaller number. So the answer is fifty three, and that's how you can solve this type of question. I hope I make things clear to you. I guess. Now think about another two numbers like root over one two five four four. So it's a bigger number. Root over one two five four four, right? A big number. So in this case, do the same thing also. Remove the last two digits. 
last two remove the last two so for four there are two possibility that is two or eight and 125 say what is a whole square number which is smaller than 125 and closest to 125 the whole square number is 121 and 121 kiska square it's like 11 square so your initial digits are 11 initial two digit is 11 next you have to do what 11 into 12 what is 11 into 12 132 now 125 is smaller than 132 125 is smaller than 132 so you have to take the smaller one that is 112 that is your answer similarly in this case also do the square root so like 89 so for 9 it is also do possibility that is 3 and 7 in case of 136 we have to take the smaller number which is less than 136 smaller whole square number less than and closest to 136 which is 144 and 144 is 12 square right so your initial two digit is 12 so that I got. The next step is 12 into 13. What is 12 into 13? 12 into 13 is nothing but 156. Now if it is 156 and 136 is less than 156, so your answer is 123. So hence your answer is uh, 1... <laughs> So let's think about 13689. This is square root of this. The first thing I have to do that is 89. So this is 3 or 7. There are two possibilities. Now think about 136. What is the smaller number which is less than 136? That is 11 square. 11 square is how much? 121. So your initial digit is again 11. So next step is 11 into 12. What is 11 into 12? That is 132. So in case of 132, 136 is more than 132. So you have to take the bigger one. So your answer is 117. So that's how you can solve all this kind of square roots. So this is how we can do square roots. So please understand this is like the general method to do a square root of a whole of uh, basically what kind of numbers which is a whole square numbers. Right. So the next video we will discuss how to do the cube root of a whole cube numbers. So let's begin for the next.